Here we go. New game. All right. Sicilian. Knight f3. Um, d6, maybe. I don't know anything about this Sicilian thing. I don't really play it. But a6. Let's see how it goes. Bishop there. Should I play e5? Maybe e5. Go away. Knight. Okay, he's thinking. That that should be good. That that's a good sign. If he's thinking, he went there. Bishop e7. What next? All right, b5. I think is doable. Let's get it in with tempo. All right, so he wants to come here after all. Let's take with the pawn. Okay. I should have played bishop b7 first, maybe, or castles or something. But it's not that bad yet. Let's see. Where does he castle? If he comes here... Then I'm dreaming about getting to g2 somehow. This pin. g3. Now that's interesting. Why? I mean, obviously, there will be pressure on the g5, but this also allows me to get at that structure faster. Because now the pawn has to go up only to h4 instead of h3. And I could even stop castling if I want it. All right. This bishop is looking good. Let's let's do this. If he takes, then I'm covering d5, f5 with the f7 pawn. So. And if he doesn't take, then I won't take either. One thing I don't want is that knight here. If that knight gets there, maybe I take it off. A knight there is very, very dangerous. A bishop it is too, but <clears throat> maybe it's more predictable to see threats with the bishop. All right. So he wants long, ca long castle. He wants long castle. All right. Well, I could maybe prevent that with queen a5. No, I can't prevent it, but of the queen a5, I have b4 threat. And he can't go here with the knight because my queen is there. If I play b4 now, knight here, and if queen a5 then, then maybe b3. Maybe I should wait first to, to let him castle there. Play knight d7. Let's go here. Knight d7. Let's keep keep our options open. Maybe I want knight b6, knight c4. Who knows? Rook c7. Let's see where he goes. If he, Oh, he stopped. He stopped my um, B4 ideas. Well, I understand. That's understandable. But now the C file suddenly became very, very weak. Very weak. I don't think this. I don't think this was a good idea. Now my knight. Look at my knight. Whoa! That knight is going to be a monster soon. So let's go, uh, not soon actually, now. The only thing is that he can pin it with queen e3.
Right. And then rook c7 doesn't defend the knight. Yeah, that's a point. But if I don't go knight b there, then a4 maybe is. Uh, but a4 can come anyway, right? a4 might come anyway, so. All right, let's go rook c7. Let's go rook c7 first. And then knight b6. And then if he goes there, then I can go somewhere. I'm uh, not castling yet. I might want to push this pawn up the board if he castles there. Um, I don't know yet. The king is probably safest on e8 or f8 at the moment, so not hurried with castling. I'm threatening even queen c8, attacking there. So, how is he going to defend that actually? Because queen c8, and I'm attacking down the. He, he, he should castle or play rook c1 maybe. Taking here, I don't think that works. I will immediately castle after that. And a4. Wow. Okay, but now if I play queen c8, he's losing something here. He can actually play rook a3 then. Right. True. But then maybe knight b6 and knight c4. Let's do it. Let's go. Queen c8. I don't have much choice. Ooh, with the with the king. All right, let's go here. If he takes, check. He takes the bishop. All right, check here. Seems to be good. And now I take with the bishop to gain a tempo on the queen, and then I'll take with the pawn, and I'm better. Am I? I think so. I could take with the bishop like this. No, no, no. Let's let's take with the pawn. D five is one idea that I have right now, and also go somewhere with this bishop. Yeah, d5 takes. I think that's premature, maybe. If I take here. Queen takes. I don't know. What about rook c6? No, 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 no. I don't want him to. To double. So how, what could I do here? F5. And if it takes. Hmm. F5. Can I do F5 here? Is that good? Or D5? Let's go F5. Let's go f5. If he doubles the rooks, I'm taking the rook off. And then I castle, probably. If he takes here, I have d5 with the threat of d4, maybe. Alright. So this is now the problem. So let's take that off. Let's take that off. All 
how is he going to take? I think I'll take the spawn here to allow these to go maybe at some point. Let's do it. Let's take here. Let's see what's next. Knight here. Yeah. It's possible. Should I castle now or play f5? Queen c6. Queen b8. No. Queen c6. Castle. Maybe castle. Maybe castling actually is good. But my bishop is... Uh, Let's go here. Let's go here. This allows me to give a check, maybe. And bishop here, bishop here would be nice. Hmm. I need to castle. F5. C3. Whoa. Alright, let's go here with the bishop. Threatening to go here. Maybe. But I also want to castle without losing the bishop. This is intense. I'm low on time. I have ideas like f5, d5, although I wouldn't want to, to move this pawn just yet and allow a knight here. Check what happens then. Not much. You can go there or there or there. And nothing really happens. Bishop b6 would be nice. Check. I'll take. He takes the bishop. Oh, he went back. Okay, um, bishop here and or just h6 maybe to to stop something going to g5 and then maybe f5 and then d5s. All right, you played that. Let's do this. Go away, knight. Yeah, but where? Where's the knight going? I trapped the knight. Very good. Very good. We're both low on time. I could have... No, that was check. I was thinking maybe taking the other knight, but no. We couldn't do that. This knight is still trapped. Is it? No, it isn't. Check. What is he doing? Let's take the knight. Well, if he gives it to me, I think I maybe should take it. And now, let's go where? There. Oh, man. Okay, let's uh, check. And uh, rook f8. Check there. Let's go here. A7 is covered. <gasps> what was that? What was that? God almighty. Why did I drop that piece? Oh man, I really want this check in now. Let's get that check in. That's one thing. And then 
Let's take that off. Push that pawn. I'm still winning. Luckily. Now I'm picking up these pawns. Well. Without the rooks, it would have been maybe even easier, but... This is also pretty straightforward. The bishop can take anything if needed. All right, that doesn't... Too slow, too slow. Take it. Yeah, we're going in. All right, let's go there. Let's take that. Yes. Let's go there. Nothing much can happen here. All right. Good game. Good game. Zed. Thank you, Zed. All right, let's analyze the board. This was wild. All right, let's see it from the beginning. So this was a Nidorf Sicilian. And here I played e5. e6 is the main move. e5 is also played. And now knight f5 is the main move here. He went back to f3. And now, bishop e7, bishop there, knight bd7, I went b5, and this was a mistake. Let me put on the engine, close that. So this was a mistake here, because of bishop takes here first, and I really have to take that, apparently. Because after I take here, ooh, queen here. A double attack on f7 and on the rook. Yeah, that's deadly. That's over. Yeah, I have to take the bishop, he takes the rook. Yeah. So I missed that. b5 was wrong. Too early. Too early. Alright. After I took, he missed that. He played bishop d5. <clears throat> that's still good for white. Rook a7. And now g3. Yeah, g3 is not really needed at this point. Knight here. And if I don't castle, let's play here. Yeah, queen's coming out and problems are beginning to happen. All right, after bishop d5, rook a7, he went g3. I went bishop there. Still knight h4. Good, with wrong castle. Yeah. All right, queen d3, knight d7, and b4. Now, this wasn't good. b4, this was a mistake. There's not, not needed. It's not needed. C4, A4, weakened. Yeah, and I played rook C7 here. If here, I thought queen E3 is good. Ah, I can drop that knight to get this knight. And now black is better. Yeah, black is just better here. Definitely. All right, so knight b6 would have worked. I went rook c7 first. And now after a4, <clears throat> of course, queen c8, intermezzo, attacking the knight. King, F, King d2, now that's a mistake. Uh, the, the check here. But also, apparently, bishop f8... And this idea, 
is good. Yeah, now that the king stepped away from the knight, he can take here. And yeah, he can't move the knight either, so black is better. Yeah, knight, knight b6, pawn took, and now I went knight c4, which is losing because of king c1. Interesting. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, I can't. Yeah, I can't take here because trapping my queen there. Right. And then what do I do? Right. Just tapping out. This would have been good. And then take here. And you're good. This is equal. All right, but he missed that also, and he took my knight with the bishop, and now after bishop c4, I'm just better. Here I thought maybe bishop takes is better to keep the a5 closed, but apparently d5 immediately would have been better. Knight takes, bishop takes, pawn takes, and yeah, c2 is hanging. Right, absolutely right. And if pawn takes first, then I have bishop b4 and... Yeah, that would have been good. d5, opening up this bishop. I took there and now he's trying to double on the a file. I thought about taking, but queen takes and then what? d5 again? Yeah, d5 again, the same idea is good. So that was the way. I played f5, which is completely bad. Rook a1, threatening here now. I didn't want to castle. That seemed dangerous. So I took, rook takes, and queen c6. No, I took there first, right. And now queen c6 is good. Queen c6 is guarding a8, maybe threatening queen, d4, queen d5 check. So, yeah, white is still better. C3, and now this is just losing because of F5. F5 would have been good. And now check. And then what? All right, there, he goes there, and what's, why is that so great? Queen here. And this is better for black. Well, two bishops versus two knights and a lot of central control. Black is better. Yeah, f5. Well, I wanted to play f5, but first I thought maybe this is a good idea although honestly I'm not even sure if it's good in this case it would have been good because I'm also on the night yeah all right but he even has a knight here takes and check and moves away and check and it's just a it's just a draw yeah it's just a draw at least for white okay so after here he went back and now 
bishop here is just very good. I went a6, I didn't want anything to come there. And now f5 is good. I went bishop, yeah, f5. And now he took there. f5 was trapping this one. He took there, but... This is now just completely losing. Completely losing. And now I went here, which was completely stupid. Giving up a piece. I was lucky I didn't lose my queen. Rook there. Bishop in, because what else? Bishop, this bishop. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So that worked. That That was the move. I went here. Luckily still winning. I could have taken that. Pawn takes, queen there. And yeah, from here on, it's really very straightforward. d6, d3 to maintain the pawn. Rook up, check. This rook is pretty passive. Doesn't really have squares, useful squares. So my rook is better. And king up. And this is now just technique, as they say. Right. Yeah, you're just going in wins. I went there. And I went to that, removing any counterplay. And here he resigned. Yeah. Well, it was wild. Wild game. Good game. With Z. Triple O seven. Alright. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share and check out some of the other videos. Bye bye.